Auto Nation All Access, Mark Haas joining me now. Mark, we know we will see Missy at the Olympics. The sport you covered recently, maybe not just yet. I think it is maybe 18th, 19th in line for sports waiting. But it's to, there. It's waiting, in line. Waiting to get into the Olympics. Uh, they do have national championships and world championships, though. You know, I remember in college we joked about underwater basket weaving being a class that all the athletes took. Well, that's made up. But turns out the sport of underwater hockey, that's a real sport. And the U.S. Nationals were here in Colorado this summer. Welcome to the underwater world of underwater hockey. A lot of people don't believe it's a real thing. Um, I have to tell them to look it up on YouTube. From above, it looks like a bunch of people splashing around, but duck below, and well, it looks like a crowded group of scuba divers. And the normal reaction is, you play what? <laughs> um, most people have never heard of the sport before. So how does one get into a sport if no one has ever heard of that sport? I had a friend tell me, you gotta try this wacky sport, and I said, yeah, it sounds cool. I started because my parents play. I was lifeguard in college, and uh, the group that was renting the pool was underwater hockey. I met a boy who played, and he invited me to come, and I wanted to impress him, so I gave it a go. Um, Fifteen years later, I'm with the boy and the sport, so I guess it was a good choice. The love affair with this sport is relatively new. Game was first played in England in the 1950s, originally called Octopush. The sport is pretty much exactly what its American name suggests. Hockey with sticks and a puck played underwater. The goal is a metal trough, essentially. It's three meters wide. It's obviously on the bottom of the pool. There's one at each end. The puck looks similar to an ice hockey puck. Um, obviously much heavier. It's usually lead coated in some form of plastic. Like hockey, it is played six on six. And similar to water polo, it starts with a sprint. One thing we're always thinking about is cycling with each other to keep a steady and strong presence on the bottom. And then at times, dedicating most, if not all, of our team to a push towards the goal. Players wear fins, diving masks, and snorkels. The sport is non-contact, but there are plenty of battles for the puck on the bottom of the pool. Basketball is a no-contact sport. Soccer is a no-contact sport. Yeah, in, in, that, in that sense, it is. Most people think that you have to hold your breath for a really long time, but you don't really. You just you have to go up and down a lot. And that's where the strategy of this sport really comes into play. It's got to be a lot of teamwork because not, you can't have everybody on the bottom at once because then you, if you have everybody on the bottom, then at some point everyone's got to come up and breathe. So you have to have... You have to have people down and other people up. Most dives are 10 to 15 seconds, but longer if there's a chance to score. When am I the most useful character in there? And it's, are, are we at a point in the play where me killing myself is useful? But stay down too long and you can cost your team. There are times that, that I am on the surface sucking air after, after doing something and I think, oh, I should have been there. That was my spot. <laughs> and there's just nothing I can do about that because I've already failed. A team from L.A. won the tournament. The Colorado team took fifth. I got to say, not much of a spectator sport. I guess at some of the big tournaments, though, they have that underwater camera up on a big board, so you can watch it. But at that one, just people splashing around. Not only on the list for the Olympics, on the list for maybe most interesting sports around as it, well. It was different, yeah, fun to watch. <laughs> Stay